Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I'll attempt to describe how places work in Gramps 4.1.3. Uh, my apologies to the developers if I've got this all wrong. I'm using Xubuntu 14.04 for this video and I'm going to assume you already know your way around Gramps. How we create places has changed in version 4. Much has been written and discussed in the mailing list and one thing's for sure though, development and further changes will happen so this video is likely to become obsolete in time. A key part of the new hierarchy is that Grams generates full place names from the hierarchy. This is likely to be the default in future although at the moment there is an option to override this as I will show you later. A simple hierarchy would be like this. Dover Street is in Jarrow and Jarrow is in County Durham which is in the UK. However things got a bit more difficult in 1974 when Jarrow came under Tyne and Weir in the UK. So we'll use this example shortly. Now when I use Gramps I prefer to build constituent parts to an event separately and then bring them together at the end. For example in this video I'll create a place before I attach it to an event. You can of course do it the other way around if you prefer. So let's start with the video. So I'm now going to create a new tree just for this testing of places and we'll call it testing places. Double click to open Click on the dashboard just to prove that it's empty. Click on places to start building places and I've clicked on the place tree to show the hierarchy. Add a new place and in the name field type UK. Tab across the country to add the type of country and we have our first place. You can add in other data such as longitude and latitude. Click on the UK because I'm going to add somewhere under the UK, notice it's been added, and I'm going to put in County Durham. Again, nothing in the title field in this case. Click on County Durham, add a place under County Durham, see how it's been enclosed by, type in Jarrow in the name, type town for the type of place, and again, this is probably where latitude and longitude are probably more relevant. Add a place under Jarrow, Dover Street, type street, click OK, expand the show. Now here's our simple hierarchy. Now let's attach an event to a person. So let's create a test person, John Smith. I'm going to add in his birth and we'll put a date of 23rd September 1973. I'm going to attach the place because it exists and I'm just going to search for Dover Street in the top by DO or find there we are double click it's added it in click OK and now notice the place is text has been auto generated from the hierarchy okay It adds the main participant after you've saved the event. So that was just me showing you that. Add in a new event. Let's put in his baptism. And this baptism took place in 1974. I'm not sure at the moment where so it's just Jarrow so double click Jarrow click OK 
and as a consequence we've got Jarrow, County Durham, UK. Super. Click OK. Now let's go back to places and actually reflect the fact that Tyne and Weir came into existence, so that came under the UK, so put in Tyne and Weir as a county. If we double click Jarrow, you see it's currently only enclosed by County Durham, and close it in Tyne and Weir as well by double clicking. And we can put some options in there, but for now, click OK. And see, now we're enclosed by two places, but the dates on the right-hand side are, are empty. So, let's assume Tyne and Weir was created on the 1st of January 1974. So we can put in County Durham before 1st of January 1974. It didn't like 1st, so I have to put 1 January. That's fine. Notice how Jarrah's now been updated. Same again, and this time after 31st of December 73. So now we've reflected in the hierarchy the fact that Jarrow was in two different counties in two different times. Now what the hierarchy does from that is, for an event, is that, as you can see here, the event now has changed to say that after 74 events took place in Jarrow, Tyne and Weir, but before 74 Jarrow was in County Durham. So, just to demonstrate this a little bit more, I want to talk a bit about a town uh, called Rendsburg in Schleswig-Holstein, which was in both Denmark and in Germany. So, I'm now going to create a hierarchy to reflect that. So, I'll create a country, Germany. And I'm going to create Denmark. I'm going to click on Denmark and create Schleswig Holstein with the Danish spelling under Denmark. I believe it was a county, but forgive me if I'm wrong. And I'm also going to create Schleswig Holstein with the German spelling under Germany. And again, a class is a county, it may be a state, I, I do apologise if I've got it wrong. Now, the town in question was called Rendsburg, so initially I'm going to add it to Denmark. Double click. I'm going to add it to the German jurisdiction. Again, just quickly, just to prove that I've got the two places in place, I've clicked OK, but I could have added the dates straight away. So I'm now going back to add the dates. Double click. Put in the date. I believe. Eighteen seventy four was the crucial point. However, I don't have the exact details, so I'm putting in there before eighteen seventy four it was in Denmark and after eighteen seventy three it was in Germany. So just to test that one I'm gonna add another test person. I'm gonna put in Sam Black. Going to add an event 
and I'm going to put in two events actually, one either side of the transfer of authority. You'll see how the event has been created under Denmark. Now if I put in baptism So now look at the place in there. One reflects Germany and one reflects Denmark and the different spellings thereof. So far I've shown you how place names are generated automatically. If we look at the data for Rendsburg and indeed any place names I've entered in this demo I didn't enter anything in the title field. From my reading of the mailing lists this seems to be the preferred way forward. However in version 4.1.3 you can set an option to allow names to be entered manually. You click on the option for edit and then preferences and choose the tab with display. The third option down determines the place format used. You can see that the choices are automatic and title. Choosing title forces Gramps to use the title field in place names. Essentially what that means is that if you select Rendsburg as a place to attach to an event then the text displayed for that place will be whatever you type in the name field. I don't propose to demonstrate that as I believe this may change in future versions of Gramps. I hope you found this very quick overview of places helpful. Obviously I didn't add in th such things as um, sources and uh, ge geography um, and maps etc. I just wanted to focus on the key things. Hope this helps. Goodbye.